Hey everyone, I'm Colleen with Awaken Catholic and this is Awaken the Saint. Today we are talking about a great king and saint from the continent of Africa, Saint Elisban of Ethiopia. Some of you may know him as Caleb of Axum, since the name Elisban was only given to him later in life. Born and raised in a Catholic family sometime in the late 400s, Elisban ruled as King of Axum, which encompassed modern-day Eritrea and northern Ethiopia. During his reign, Axum was under the Eastern Roman Empire, which was ruled by Justinian I. Meanwhile, across the Red Sea, Arabia was being conquered by Dunan, an evil king who had apostatized from Catholicism to Judaism. Dunan was on a quest to convert all of Arabia to Judaism. Ultimately, an estimated 4,000 Catholics were tortured and killed without trial in his bloody crusade. Enraged, the Emperor Justinian called upon Elisban to defend Christendom and to punish the apostate king. So in 520, he gathered his army, crossed the sea, and fought heroically to save his Catholic brothers and sisters. After a fierce battle, the soldiers of Ethiopia were finally victorious and Dunan was executed. Remaining in Arabia after the victory, King Elisban saw to it that the churches were rebuilt, and he remained a military presence until Ebrahamos, a native Catholic, was elected king of Arabia. With his mission accomplished, Elisban sailed back to Ethiopia, where he continued to rule as king for several more years. He carefully raised his son in Catholic tradition and taught him how to rule with piety and justice, but Elisban soon found that he no longer desired to rule as king. He eventually renounced his title as ruler and abdicated the throne to his son. Soon after, he disguised himself as a hermit and retired to a monastery in the mountains, taking nothing with him but a mat to sleep on and a cup for water. He lived out the rest of his life in simplicity and prayer, devoted to obedience and humble work. It's said that he chose to eat only bread with dry herbs and drink only water. He never let anyone treat him better than the rest. Instead, he preferred to be the first one to serve rather than to be served. This is not how most kings end their reign. He could have lived out the rest of his days in lavish luxury, or at least had the basic comforts of life. But Elisban was filled with conviction that he could not ignore. His last days were spent in prayer and penance, and he died with a reputation for holiness and piety. Often in pictures, he is depicted as a solitary hermit holding a cross with a crown at his feet. I think that image alone is quite beautiful. He did not hold on to his earthly power, his prestige, or his wealth. Instead, he laid it all down, picked up his cross, and followed Christ into the wilderness. Saint Elisban is the example of a true warrior king, but also of a pious, humble hermit. This just goes to show that if you're obedient to God, you really can have it all. You too can achieve greatness in your own life. You just have to be willing to lay down your crown, pick up your cross, and follow him. Saint Elisban of Ethiopia, pray for us. Thank you for tuning in to Awaken the Saint. 